a lot of people are fairly wary of rear-ported speakers, like the Genelex and the IK Multimedias that I've got behind me, especially if you're in a small room and your speakers have got to be close to the front wall. All you've got to do is make sure that you leave enough space behind the speaker that's more than the diameter of the port itself. Actually, with studio monitors, you haven't got to do that. And that's because that logic only works if the speakers are parallel with the wall. If you tilt them round, that should give more than enough airflow out without limiting the sound coming out of the port. The reason it's important that we get the speakers close to the front wall is that you get a cancellation dependent on how far the speakers are from the front wall. That gives you a dip in your frequency response. The further away, the lower the frequency. So what we really want is to get them fairly fairly close to the wall, so that frequency rises up above about 300 hertz or so, and then it's into the range that can get absorbed by an acoustic panel. So put an acoustic panel down behind your speaker and the wall, and you'll absorb that frequency, giving you a much more even frequency response to mix with. The only caveat to this is that as you move your speakers closer to the front wall, the bass response is going to increase. So you're going to want to decrease the LF control on the rear to compensate. Hopefully that has shown that you shouldn't be afraid of reported speakers and your mixes will be thankful for it. We'll see you for another video again soon. Thanks for watching.